guys? Power 105.1. Now listen, on here. Your boy DJ Spin King. And we got a very special guest. BX big, in a building. Yeah, big Bronx. I don't want no problems, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Bronx, yeah. Bronx, Bronx Suno in the building. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How y'all living? He came in with the Chick Fil A cup, <laughs> man. He was having a good day. It has got to be lemonade in there, dog. Lemonade, high. Yeah, yeah, you know, lemonade, lemonade, lemonade. Go crazy. They got the homemade lemonade. Right <laughs> What's the sauce you get? Um, barbecue. Barbecue. Yeah. Oh my God. Or Polynesian. You mean? Sometimes, man. Yeah. Barbecue is yeah, really barbecue where it's at. Yeah, exactly. barbecue go crazy. Yeah, man. Chick Fil A is addictive. Matter of fact, cut the check because this is free promo. Yeah, free promo. <laughs> I need fifty percent. Okay. <laughs> Um, nah, so let's let's get into it, man. You got the drill scene going crazy right now. That's numbers is up. TikTok numbers is up. Instagram numbers is up. Ron Suno is just motherfucking up 2022. Mm-hmm. Um, so I heard somebody say that you were the creator of the Bronx drill movement. That's, a fact. The, that's, that's facts. That's a fact. So nobody's going to come and say that ain't true because I heard <laughs> some people say that that wasn't true. Now, you know what it is, though? Because at the end of the day, it's like where I started from, you feel me? So the people going to always neglect the simple fact that I was... I started drill because I was a comedian at one point, you feel me? So people are always going to underestimate the, the talent that I got, you feel me? How do you feel you took yourself from the comedian, the funny aspect, mm-hmm. to taking people, taking you seriously in music? I feel like that's a big accomplishment for me, like, because I was the first to do it, especially from coming to New York, like, in the Bronx, it's like everybody's serious, everybody at their own catalog or what they trying to persuade, whatever. But me, I came up from skits, and for me, sense of humor, so it's like me doing that to take it to another level of seriousness. I feel like that's an accomplishment. What made you want to start rapping? I've been rapping, though, like, I started rapping at, like, the age of 13, you feel me? Like, I was in the studio with my son, Siri De Niro, or whatever, you feel me? Like, we've been had a plan for music, but it's like, where we from, it's like, you gotta have a catch, though. You can't just think you're gonna get a little music. You gotta have something behind your name. Like, everybody got their own catch. And I feel like my personality is my catch. Like, I'm gonna use skits to get where I need to go. After I drop them on skits, do the music, you feel me? And that's when I took over. But, I feel that. So what made you want to do drill instead of just putting out music? Because you said you've been rapping since you was 13. Mm-hmm. Were you doing, like, a different style of rap prior? Yeah, I was, like, it was it was catering to drill, but it wasn't necessarily, like, drill beats, though, you feel me? Because, like, my first song was Murder. You know, like, it was a song called Murder, you feel me, featuring Siri De Niro. So it was, like, more so, like, a serious concept. But now it's, like, I got into the drill lane because that's what the fans want, you feel me? Like, that's what they like. And that's what I'm talking about because I'm living with, you feel me? I'm rapping for it. Yeah. I'm just living it, so I'm just rapping everything. That's how I feel. Um, it, has there been, like, any issues, I guess, like, from the Brooklyn side now yeah. that the Bronx is taking over the drill scene? Mm, nah, I feel like it's all connecting. Like, New York is becoming one. Like, you got... Brooklyn artists like yeah, cause he did a song with Dusty. Yeah, yeah. Dusty. You feel me? I got That's what he did with, with Rod too. Yeah, with Rod. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's like Brooklyn. Brooklyn is lit. I go like cause they they started it too. You gotta understand like Bobby Schmurder come from Brooklyn. He put it on for New York. So it's like giving that light to New York. He was able to capitalize with that. Come from the Bronx, gangster. Love that. It's a fact. And what's the like? I see your videos be lit. I ain't gonna hold up your music videos. They just be. You feel the music when you watch the video. You know what I'm saying? So. You gotta keep that going too. What do you What do you think is next for Ron Suno and the music around you just in general? Just like up there, everything like evolutions. Like it's always just ten steps better. Like right now, I'm just thinking about becoming a better version of me from last year. Like now, I want to capitalize on my music. You feel me? Drop more songs. You feel me? With meaningful concepts. You feel me? I want to have more acting. So like, you probably see me in a movie in the future. So this shit is just more personal for me. YouTube just taking over all platforms. So right now, it's lit. Like. You gonna take over. Yo, I could definitely see you acting. What type of roles are like? What do you see yourself doing? Like, what type of roles do you want to get? I feel like I'm saying like Will Smith. I see how Will Smith did the whole rapid thing too. You gonna know try to say? Oh, like Fresh Prince? Yeah, you gonna know something like That's something cool. like that. You gonna know try to say? Or something to have my own show. You feel me? Have my own segment where people understand what I'm doing in my life and behind the scenes, and just get lit from there. So I just have everything going on from different lanes. That'd be really dope. Yeah, you know, I love that. Uh, so what is the process like for you making music? Do you just, like, do you write? Are you a freestyler when you get in the booth? I know some people do some humming shit, say some words here and there. Like, what what is it like for you in the booth? I feel like it depends on the beat, too, because, like, if you hear a beat, it's just it's genuine sometimes. So sometimes I hear a beat, I'm like, now nah, I might freestyle with you for me because sometimes you just feel it, like, just all the motion. Or sometimes I write. So, like, if I'm in the studio and I'm with the members, I might just have a beat ready, you know what I'm trying to say? It's premeditated, so I have a song ready for me. I'll probably like, write the hook and then freestyle the verse, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Everything hit from there. Everything. I got like 2,000 unreleased. Boom. Different sounds, you feel me? It's not even drill. Like, 
I got songs that are singing. You feel me? I got songs that is catering to the UK. Uh, you singing? Yeah. You, you be singing? Everything. I'm like, trying to hear that. All types of music. Like, there's music for parties, females, Dope. different things. So it's like, I'm just trying to tap in for me. Take over. I started it, so it's like, why not show people what I'm talented with? So, I know, like, a big difference between the Brooklyn and the Bronx drill is also, like, the use of R&B sampling, yeah. you know? Like, I, I really like that you guys do that. Um, is that something that you're strategically targeting, or are you going to be, like, doing that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because at the end it's what the fans want, too. Like, yeah. sometimes you got to give the fans what they like, because if you try to do something different, they're not really used to that, you feel me? So, yeah. like, say, for example, if I'm giving them samples, they're going to they gonna understand what that's what's lit right now, so... Do that. Yeah. Who do you see yourself working with in the future? Like, who do you want to work with? Um, I definitely want to work with like little okay, girl. You know what I'm trying to say? Little baby. Cause those are the type of people that's like old team from a different different states. I'm from New York. I already catered to the drill aspects, and now I want to cater on to like trap music and just hip hop in general. So little dirt, little baby, people like that. Future. You feel me? Just level up. You know what I'm trying to say? Or, we just stopped the interview midway because we had some guests that we wanted to bring on. Now, so, introduce them. Yeah. So we got... <coughs> oh, Lord, the lemonade, he was choking up. Yeah, we got Siri De Niro, you feel me? Niro. That's my brother right here. We got Zay Money, that's my heart. Big Zay Money in the spot. Yeah, Money, huh? Yeah, we taking over that sounds right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, we all got different sounds. You know what I'm trying to say? We got him, we do melody, you feel me? Nice. Like, he do, for me, drill, bones, drill. So it's like, I'm all catering to it. So yours is more harder. Yours is more for the ladies. Yeah. And you and this combination both? Yeah, energetic. Okay. I can mix it, though. Dream team, man. Yeah, we're the dream team. Like, yeah, sure. So what's it called? Y'all label? Yeah. Yeah? What's SBL. the label? SBL. Yeah, yeah. Stabby okay. Lifestyle. Stabby, you know what I'm trying to say? I can South do it. Legends. <laughs> okay. I like that. Uh, that's fly. Actually, so that's the double entendre. Yeah, that's fly. Mm -hmm. so All right, cool. So, um, and um, you got songs with him as well? Yeah, I got songs with both of them. You know what I'm saying? Me and him got a song called Feel This Way. And me and him got a hit song right now. What they going to say. So you guys going to be doing a SBL tape? Yeah. For sure, you know so. Hell yeah, we just gonna get everything ready, everything situated, mm -hmm. and we gonna make a difference. All right, cool. I'm excited. So how did you guys all meet? We just know hearts, like we been to each other, we from the Bronx, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, we grew up together, like you from the same money, you know the same people I know. Okay. Me? So we all just run around the same people, and just sure. build a relationship from there. Everything just been history ever since. I love that. Dope. Brought the crew with him. I'm like, look, everything. Watch you keep walking, and I'm like, wait, I'm trying to stop. Yo, boy, yo, I'm so his next shit downstairs. Wait, 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 wait. Somebody had to watch the car, so I'm trying to take care of you, bro. I said, yo, Max, get your bag, bro. What's up with the car? I'm gonna do your job today. No, I said, yo, Max, I'm gonna do your job today, bro. I turned into Max. You never seen this before. I ain't never seen this before. I'm a jack of all trades, man. We're gonna get it done. You guys are definitely funny. They make it happen, you heard? Yeah, y'all made it happen. Gotta get it done at the end of the day. I love it. I respect yeah. it. So, are you guys signed? Are y'all looking to get signed? Like, what's going on with that? Now we independent artists. Like y'all trying to say, we our own label. We building our brand. So the shot. So it's one hundred. Do you want to get signed? Or you want to stay like, independent? You know, nah, I feel like being signed. That's unnecessary. You feel me? Like, because me personally. I'm already building my craft to where I needed to be, right. to where I could go individually with the team. You know what I'm trying to say? With everybody else, you feel me? That's what I know. That's what they want to do. You know what I'm trying to say? But mm -hmm. Me personally, I feel like I solidify with the. the I label feel. He looking like it's been a game, but bro, I'm about to get the bag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 how y'all feel? What you want to feel about that? Shit. I mean, if they talking like that number, what's up? Really though, really though, no, really though, really though. Really 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 depends with that though. money, like. With that money, it's still, feel me, uh, SBL, yeah. Mana. And they can't be no fluky shit, like, uh, they can't have me, like, I gotta be free to do what I wanna do. No 360s, no 360s, yeah. man. Yeah. I need to drop music when yeah. I wanna drop yeah. music. Freedom is everything. Freedom is everything. Nah, I definitely feel that. So what they gonna say is going up right now on TikTok. Mm -hmm. that shit gonna that's a fact. It's true right now. You feel me? Yeah, two point two million a month. That's a fact. Yeah, and that's crazy. That's the numbers. Yeah, you feel me? I ain't going Independent. Out. Independently, we got fifteen k uh, videos on TikTok. Fifteen k yeah. people who posted a video to that song. <laughs> Yo, this TikTok shit has really changed yeah. the world. It's, it's crazy. Over. It's taking uh, over because TikTok the way out. It's the kids. So the difference is, yeah. 
you good on the gram in real life and on TikTok. There's some people that I've never heard and on TikTok, they those Going people. Up. But if I see them in person, I have no idea who they are. And he also be outside. <laughs> but so, I'm saying, yeah, I said in real life. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Real life, Instagram, TikTok, he got all platforms, like he said. I think what you said about that YouTube, you should look into that, though, the behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Just to get people to understand what's going on, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, we're doing a lot of things, you feel me? A lot of people not seeing what we're doing. So it's like, if we show them what we really do behind the scenes, we really legends. You know what I'm trying to say? We started it. Even when I say I was, I was a creator of Bones Drill, I'm not saying it like I started rap. Like, I'm just saying it because I influenced a lot of people to do what I'm doing, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like we made a difference just with the blueprint itself. Well, so it's just us being that label is just going to take over. Well, I'm here for it. So what, are you looking to collab with anybody? Yeah. New York or even outside of New York? See, you got artists, you feel me, like I said, like, Lil Baby, Lil Dirt, Future, say, Future, mm -hmm. you feel me, they doing their thing, like, that's people that's out of New York that's making a buzz in, in a different level of music, you feel me? And that's why I see myself like, damn, I want to do music like that, because they doing their thing, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the next step, you know I'm not bad at that. That future shit, that's gonna be a toxic ass record. Yo, future, shout out to future. Yeah. <laughs> My dad had a dream, I did a song with him. <laughs> oh, wow, I love that. Manifestation. Yeah, we're manifesting, all 2020. Okay, cool. So, future Drake, no women? Because the women are eating right oh, now. Of course, you okay. feel me? Like, I feel like, shout out to Cola Ray, you feel me? Because she was showing love too. Like, I feel like Cola Ray is definitely a female album. Really want to work. I can see that, that would though. be fly, actually. Y'all should you make mean? that happen. Her energy different. And um, just upcoming artists that's females that's doing anything. Because a lot of females that's rapping right now, that's not, you feel me? Mm -hmm. A million followers, but they coming up. And shout out to a lot of artists that's females doing their thing, too, because it's a new lane that they make up artists and females doing their thing right now. Yeah, that's well, a fact. So what's some of the craziest things you ever done? I see some crazy shit you do in your skits. I, I don't know if this is <laughs> for fun or if you really be doing this shit. So <laughs> let's talk about it. Uh, the craziest thing I ever done? Mm -hmm. I say like, damn, life is crazy. That's the that's the life. Like, he said, it's a movie. Life is crazy. Viral. Every day is something crazy. So, mm, what's what's the craziest thing I ever done? So you think it's something crazy you did? What you think? You think something crazy? <laughs> what happened that was crazy? I can't think. Everything. Our life is a movie. Every day we go viral. Oh, word. All we do is come outside. You, you got catfish? I got catfish. Yo. I met some good. On the gram? Yeah, she never showed her height. No, first of all, what you're not going to do is discriminate on height. No, but still, though, like, you got to give a you know, warning. Like, you know what I mean? If you give me a warning, I'll understand why I'm getting But what happened, though? But is that catfish? It's like this. Boom. You gonna tell me about yourself? You gotta tell me everything about yourself specifically. Like you gonna tell me your, <laughs> your age, your birthday. Tell me your height too. You got to say <laughs> you taller than me. I'm about to use you for the tryouts. Like <laughs> I'm about to use you for the mix. You over here trying to be comfortable with me. Like, they need you for the I'm mix. You for other associations. Like what are we doing? Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? So that's how Yo. I feel. Like that was the craziest thing that happened to me. I'm with a girl. She, I'm using her to go to the supermarket. She need to get the bigger items. You know what I'm trying to say? Toilet paper on the top. You the one that can reach it. What we doing? We on the side of the street. You gotta walk on the outside. You protecting me. What are you talking about? Yeah, like, yeah. So you had catfish by height. I got catfish by height. But she was she pretty. pretty though? Nah, she was pretty, but like, damn, like, what you mean? I gotta pick you up and struggle like that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no cat though. This shit is real though. Nah, it's you're life though. You know what I mean? It's life though. That's the crazy. Shit. Nah, like, I told I you. Though. So you don't like six one like. <laughs> well, how tall are you? I'm like five eleven, six feet. That's not. But that's really not a big deal. Nah, I thought Dita. Nah, 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 I don't mean, discriminate against tall girls. I'm not discriminating right now. I, mean, I love y'all tall girls. I love y'all yeah. like that. But she had big feet. I ain't checked the feet yet. It ain't even get to that level. You know what I say? Because once you get the height, that's the image you get from this. Wait, wait. What's she the problem? She solidified her point. Huh? What's the problem with dating tall women? Uh, it's not a problem. It makes it's, you feel it's, small. It's a personal, it's a personal. You see, tighten the jacket, yeah, you gotta understand, it's not <laughs> there. Like, it's, 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 it's a male that's shorter than a female, you lack, like, testosterone. You can't lean on her shoulder. <laughs> you can't be. You can't lean on her shoulder. Then you gotta look up to her, like, you can't, like, you're you gonna listen to me, and then be up looking, like, you know what I'm saying, it just don't make sense. That like, is hilarious, bro. You gotta wow. make sure you, like, you feel me? Damn. Word. I feel, I feel <laughs> bad for my tall sisters out there. I love y'all, though. You feel me? Tall women, women, though. They winning. They winning. Nah, <laughs> so, no, just no. need a taller nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an NBA or something, right? You going to yeah. be playing ball or something. Um, athlete. So, I know we've all just went through COVID, lockdown. Mm -hmm. What are some things that you realize that you can't live without? Damn, man. It's hard. 
That's not different. I ain't gonna lie. It's not different. You know how many times I try to quit smoking Zab? Yo, that shit come back like a frisbee, bro. Like, this shit crazy, bro. Yo, it's life, though. You feel me? I was trying to say, like, I love I love smoking weed. I feel it. It relaxes you. Yeah, it keeps me calm. You know what I'm trying to say? I got ADHD. I can't keep still. So much thoughts I got in my head. I can see that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. I can that totally see that. <laughs> um, how do you feel about people not wanting to consider you as a rapper because of your comedy? I don't really feel the way. Like that's all opinions that's going to add up to what we're trying to do in the first place. Like I'm trying to say, all opinions will make sense, whether it's good opinions or bad opinions. Like people that feel the way about haters, they should never feel the way because this is what you signed up for. You know what I'm trying mm -hmm. to say? I look at it like this. I'd rather them look at me like that because it gave me motivation to go even harder. You know what I'm saying? And he still go viral every I trip. Still, still make hits. Like, that shit don't mean nothing. That's people told me they don't know me. They're not outside. They're not outside. What's some advice you would give somebody who's in your shoes that's like, you know, fam maybe famous on multiple platforms and trying to get serious into music? I'll just say be yourself. Like, don't fake it. Like, people that fake it till they make it, like, nah, just be yourself. Like, yeah. when it's more genuine, come naturally. It, it is hard for a lot of people to pivot. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. You just gotta, you don't go with the flow, be the flow. Like Jay-Z said, you, you gotta create your own flow. Oh, good. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> What can we expect from you coming up soon? Um, just more music, you feel me? Take coming soon, just more hits, just progress. What do you feel you can make different in your new music with the drill than the old music with the drill? Mm. And are you, are you going to do full drill projects or is it going to be like, you know, like yeah. pop? Are we going to get that melodic R&B side yeah. to it too? Like he like, tap on me, I got yeah. you. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like this, like, you know, it, it's about elevation, you feel me? Like, when I, when I make music, I'm trying to think about the next step. So, like, my music, it should be always about meaningful things. So, like, I want to have music with more concepts in it. Like so, now, more music that I make is going to have more meaning to it. So, like, people can feel it more, they can relate. So, now I'm bringing more fans. Can we expect connection. more shows, more performances? Of course. You can have our shows coming soon. You can be turning up. So, so what's so having that. more concepts? What do you think this tape that you're going to drop this year is going to be about? Like, what's what phase of life is this for you? Um... I feel like more so giving people my side of the story of life, you feel me? Because people only, always underestimate people that's underdogs, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I feel like I'm an underdog because people never give my credit for what I created. And this tape that I probably put out right now is going to be more so about what's going on, what how I feel. Like, the next step, like, boom, more soon I'm doing this. They said I wasn't doing that, but now I'm doing it in 2022, new year. Let's go fight it. I'm here for it. I always see you with different girls. Is Ron Suno signal? <laughs> I know that honestly that's a fact. I've been seeing the shit yeah. yeah, like, right now. We would have beef. And it's never one. <laughs> it's like three or four. We would have big beef. Yeah, it's complicated. I go a lot. It's real out here, man. man. I got a kid though, so you can be I'm still a family man at the end of the day. You feel me? I love my daughter to death, you feel me? So I be just trying to take care of my family at the end of the day. But you know, Ron Suno, that's me, you feel me? I like to have fun so Okay. He said, don't be asking me no complicated questions. <laughs> 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 Valentine's Day is coming up. Do you have a Valentine? Yes or no? Yeah, I got a Valentine. Okay, got good. Valentine. All right. Like, he's blushing. <laughs> <laughs> Valentine's Day. <laughs> Valentine. That's how you got to What's the plans for Valentine's Day? Are you romantic? You going to do, like, you know, rose? Probably like my God. Gotti, yeah. Gotti. Gotti. That's how I get to the <laughs> That's how I make the booze, bro. Yeah. Like, I just got yeah. the life. Nah, the booze don't live life, though, you know? Like, that's why I love my man. His life, though. I know it's not funny. He's mad at 41. Nah, like, this is my boat right here, though. He yeah, lives life, so that, that's how I feel. Like, nah, he know where I'm going, man. Nah, we just gotta go crazy, you know what I'm saying? Yo, nah, that's... I'm going to Google, you know? Yeah. He's actually Google. He got my Google, you know? Yo, this man is that funny. Nah, but it's for real though, like, nah, we just go turn up the value, you know, cap. <laughs> well, you got our support, of course, here at Power yes, 5.1, yeah. right. and especially Blends and Trends, that's us. Mm -hmm. um, thanks for stopping by. Let the people know where they can stream your music, where they can find you on the gram, TikTok, all that. So my Instagram, Ron Suno, every platform, Ron Suno, for me, Ron Skater, Dream. You going crazy. Got my guys when you serve the network. Serve the network, y'all already know, man. Save money. Gangs in the spot, don't make it hot. Money's in the spot, don't make it hot at all. You know, sure. taking over. Stay tuned. 2022, I year. Gangsta. Period.